Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that the 30 megagrams flat car A and 15 megagrams flat car B are moving towards each other with the velocity shown. Determine the maximum compression of the spring mounted on the car A. Neglect roading resistance. This problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our 14th edition by RC Hibela. So if we choose this as our reference, all right, then uh, this becomes a negative, right? Then we'll have VA equal to 20,000 divided by 3,600 meters per second. And then we'll have VB equal to minus, uh, minus 10,000 divided by 3,600 meters per second. Again, we are just converting them to meters per second. Um, right, so using the conservation of momentum, summation of mi sub i, v sub i1 equal to summation of mi vi2, uh, we have ma va1 plus mb vb1. This is equal to MA plus MB, MB, uh, V2. So this therefore becomes 30,000 uh, by 20,000 divided by 3,600, right? Uh, plus 15,000, because we know that MA here, MA is 15,000 kg, and uh, MB, I mean, MA is 30,000 kgs, and this one is 15,000 kgs. All right. So 15,000 by negative 10,000 divided by 3,600. This is equal to the total of 30,000. 30,000 plus 15,000 um, by V2. Right. Therefore, our V2 is just going to be equal to, grab your calculator, uh, so with that we do have 30,000 by 20,000 divided by 3,600 minus 15,000 by 10,000 divided by 3,600. Then this divided by 45,000. So this we get a 2.7778 meters per second. So this is the velocity when both cars are coupled. Then now, since we are interested in finding the distance, we use the conservation. Uh, we use the conservation of uh, mechanical energy which is T1 plus V1 is equal to T2 plus V2. And we know what T is. It is kinetic energy, and we know what V is, it's potential. So we have gravitational and elastic. All right, so let's start in first state, MA, VA1 squared, plus mb vb1 squared plus vg we know is zero then this one uh, ve i'll write a full equation even when it is zero here because in the other part it won't be zero sa1 squared then there we have half uh, combined it is coupled that's ma plus mb 
have v2 squared plus vg plus ve which is just half ks squared like so all right so we know this part is zero this part is zero this part is zero right so let's add some numbers so we do have half there like that uh this one is thirty thousand okay then we do have that twenty thousand okay divided by three thousand six hundred squared plus half uh fifteen thousand okay then we do have ten thousand we have ten thousand divided by three thousand six hundred okay then we do uh then this is just going to be equal to half um twenty thousand i mean thirty thousand plus fifteen thousand and then by v2 which we calculated already is 2.7778 uh, seven, squared all right and then we do have plus half k we say this three by 10 to the 6 then by s squared like that and therefore s in the second state there we just going to be equal to let's calculate this the halves can go so we can cancel out this part this part this part this part all right so we have thirty thousand on times twenty thousand divided by three thousand squared plus fifteen thousand times 10,000 divided by 3,600 squared minus 45,000 times 2.778 squared okay divided by 3 million omega okay then square root of that so we have a 0 0.48 one one okay meters therefore s max is just going to be equal to 0 0.4811 meters all right so i think this is about it this is about it uh, um, we have calculated the maximum uh the maximum uh compression of the spring and i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh screencast